Welcome back to another Storyblocks tutorial. I'm Will Bartlett, and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you the basics of video color correction, which will include how to tweak some basic settings like exposure, contrast, shadows, and saturation in order to successfully color correct your footage. Color correction is an important step in the post-production editing process because it makes all of the clips in a scene match in brightness, color, and saturation, for example, which help create a consistent look in the final edit. Second to this, color correction is used to fix the white balance of a clip so that it looks more natural, or to enhance or change skin tones and other areas of your footage to be more accurate. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and get started. All right, now that you have an idea of what color correction is, I have Premiere Pro open with one clip brought into a 1080p sequence. This clip was filmed in a wrong color temperature. As you can see, it's a little blue. So in order to fix this, we're gonna be playing with some parameters inside the Lumetri color panel window. If you don't have that, you go to Window, and then make sure that it is selected. Inside the Lumetri color panel, with our footage selected, and inside the basic correction tab, we will make some changes. At the top here, you'll see under white balance, it says the temperature. This is where we can change the overall color of the footage to make it look cooler or more blue, or warmer or more orange. Since we've established that this clip is a little more blue than it should be, we're gonna to want to adjust the temperature closer to the orange side. And we know that this clip is too blue because almost every spot in the frame that is supposed to be white shows up a little more blue. So on the temperature slider, let's click and drag towards the orange side, and you'll see how that changes our image. We can make it blue or more orange. So there won't be a perfect spot on how much to move this slider, but based on the white areas in the footage, we want to get it as close as we can to natural white. I would say that looks about normal for this clip. Now you can use the white balance selector to change the temperature of your footage automatically. However, I prefer to use the temperature slider as I find it more accurate. And then now we'll move into the tone settings. So let's make the frame a little larger. And now we'll play back our footage and see if there's any other things that we should be correcting in terms of the color and exposure. I would say this footage is a little underexposed, so for exposure, let's go up just a bit. However, doing so brought up the highlights, so let's go down with the highlights a little bit. Overall, there's still a few spots that are a little bit dark and dull in this image, so we can use the shadow settings to make those adjustments. As a side note and a general rule, you don't want to pump any of these settings too high, I would say above 30 or 40 or 50, depending on the footage you're working with, because then you can introduce some grain into your footage, because then it goes against the whole point of color correction, which is to improve the footage. Now that we've adjusted the main settings, let's adjust the contrast and I'll show you what that does. Basically it washes out the footage or makes it a lot more dramatic, more contrasty. I think for this footage, dropping the contrast just a little bit works the best, although a lot of people prefer the more contrasty look, so it's whichever you prefer. Next for the white levels, if we adjust it, you'll see that it blows out the sky and that's not necessarily what I want for this footage. So I'm gonna drop it maybe to around minus 15 or so. And then for the black levels, this will only affect the darker areas of our footage. So I think around minus 4.7 works for this. And then now that we've done this, I'm gonna go up with the exposure just a little more and bring down the highlights a little more. Next, we have the saturation tab, which we can completely remove the color to make it black and white if we wanted, or we can overly saturate the footage. When you're first starting out doing color correction, it can be tempting to pump the saturation slider as far as it can go because it does look good in a still frame, but when you're playing back the footage and have the saturation set to very high, you can introduce a lot of grain into your footage like we were talking about earlier. So I wouldn't add more than about 120, 125 at most to this. Also, if you're gonna be working on doing color correction on higher end projects like commercials, I would recommend limiting how much you change all of these settings. However, if you're just working on a YouTube video or an Instagram post, for example, you don't have to follow any broadcast standards, so you can be a little more free with moving the sliders around. So that's the basics tab for doing basic color correction inside Premiere Pro. Then we'll go into curves and open up RGB curves. With this setting, you can go into only the red channel and increase just the red or you can go into the green, and also just the blue. 
However, we're just going to be making some minor adjustments, so we'll stick to the main tab, and then let's do three different points here. One at the bottom, one at the middle, and then one in the top part. Now that our RGB curves graph has been split up into three parts, on the bottom one, let's bring it up just a little bit. And then on the top one, we'll bring it down just a bit. And the goal here was to introduce a little bit more dynamic range between the highlights and the shadows of our footage. And you'll be able to see that by paying attention to the cloud area when I cycle the effect. And now we've finished color correcting our footage. Inside Lumetri Color, there are quite a few other settings that you can experiment with to get more creative to better color correct your footage. If you're working with footage that needs a few more adjustments, another tab you can look into is the Color Wheels and Match tab. And here you can change the colors of the shadows, mid-tones, or highlights accordingly. And if you double click, it'll reset, and then we can try the highlights, and you can get an idea of what that does. And then for the shadows, so those are a few different options you can use to color correct your footage, but primarily you're going to be doing most of your work inside the basic correction tab because again, color correction is to just correct the color and the brightness of your footage. Okay, so that is how you color correct inside Premiere Pro CC. Remember that in most cases, the point of color correction is to correct the footage so that the white and black levels, the brightness, the contrast, and saturation end up matching throughout a scene in an edit, as well as to fix any incorrect white balances. So that does it for this video brought to you by Storyblocks. My name's Will Bartlett, and we'll see you next time.